I've come along to St Matthew's Church Hall uh, with me is Lorcan and uh, John Young. And John, we know from previous things. We'll know you from uh, Spamlot, I think, was the last Most outing, recently. wasn't it? Yeah, um, just finished that. Feeling the feeling the, the come down off it, so I felt I needed to throw myself into something just as mad. Right, let me let me get hold of poster show on that one. Just the... Did uh, this? Uh, I'll read it out to you. The funny thing about depression. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it just sells itself, doesn't it? It says everything about it. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's <laughs> unravel this thing. John, you're the directing. Yeah. Uh, a one man show. Yeah, so a, just looking. it has been, you're literally writing it and it's got a bit of music in it and that sort of thing. I think we, we met up because I'd, I'd started writing a blog about depression about two years ago and John read it and John and I went to school together but we'd, we'd kind of grown up doing musical theatre together so we've um, kind of be, been involved around that kind of thing for at least 10 years, 10 or 15 years. Um, so I started writing a blog about my experience with depression about two years ago and John read that and throughout the blog I kind of tried to employ humour and things like that because I've always found, I mean coming from an Irish family you use humour in darkness mm. to try and open up the subject and try and make it accessible and try and make it understandable because if you just talked about it as it is you probably wouldn't talk about it as honestly as you, as you should so I've always found that you've, using humour is a great way of becoming accessible and engaging people really because people will want to listen if it's funny and if there's something to think about and, and that kind of thing. So John read those blogs um, and he was over here for the, um, the World War I play that you were doing um, last year. And we met up for a coffee and we just started talking about, it was John's idea and he, he put it to me and, and it, just, it just made sense. Yeah, sure. And then we were kind of talking about what kind of show it should be and just from our backgrounds and from what we like to do and John's kind of skill area we, we just kind of understood it would be kind of a cabaret you know nothing too n not high theater in any means but okay but you're going to open up about your particular it's, it's I, and some of it's quite deep i hear absolutely yeah i mean um two years ago was when i started writing about it that was a particularly deep point but but for me the kind of the lowest point in my life was about four years ago when i started making plans to commit suicide um and that for me is obviously an incredibly dark place but at that moment when I was making those decisions I found humour and it was actually the humour that there the, the was just kind of funny little things that I, look, I, I, I laughed at at the time and I laugh at now that kind of spurred me to keep going and, and, and keep working at getting better and seek help um, and, and it's through then that humour that I realised maybe I can use that and and not let this depression and not let these dark points have a net negative effect on my life because if i did then 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 what what would be the point of of having depression if i can't use it to the, uh, help other people right. now um, people are talking about this much more these days i mean yeah it's been an avalanche almost from my point of view with people wanting to talk and, and helping each other self-help mm -hmm. telling your own stories yeah people get and essentially that's what it is yeah right. <clears throat> it's your story it's it, yeah. Although it's a show about depression, it's Lorcan's story. So, mm -hmm. obviously, Lorcan has got depression, uh, mm -hmm. ha has had depression, and will probably it's, always have depression. <clears throat> and it's 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 Lorcan's journey to now. Yeah. But through that, we talk about mental health, and mm -hmm. I think that's what's it's. We want to yeah. we want to start a conversation. We, you know, we're not we're not therapists. We're not psychiatrists. You know, we're not going to cure anybody of anything. But if no. we can if we can get people talking about it, and if people can leave mm -hmm. having heard your story, and then make a decision to maybe go and. Like get some help or yeah. even just start talking about it then and that's the important that be great. thing and it's sort of something we've kept in mind the whole way through is that we, we're not lecturing anyone and we're not advising anyone and we're not it's not a therapy session it's not in any way kind of this is what you need to do to cure depression mm. it's literally and we're very careful about it it's literally just my story and it's it we're not trying to tell anyone how to mm. live or we're not trying to say oh you should have done this or, or anything like that it's just just this is my experience you can take from it what you want. You can take lessons from it. You can see how I dealt with certain things. This is how I got to this point. Um, but it's also for people who are living with people with depression to say, oh, what's actually going on in their mind? What, what are their thought processes? Why are they so distant? Why are they so quiet? Why are they taking it out on me? And it's an exploration of that. So it's not just an exploration of me. It's, it's looking at 
the people who were around me at the time, who still are around me, and how that affected them. Um, okay. And how, how was this as a, as a writing exercise then? I mean, is, is it a fluid bit of work that's going on here? I mean, you, you structure it out? Or? I mean, yeah, I mean, we have a script. Yeah. So <clears throat> we have a script that we've both written together. So, I yeah. mean, a lot, some of that script is taken from Lorcan's blog. Some of it is taken from conversations we've had. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's quite a lot of audience interaction. I mean, yeah. we don't want to give too much away, but I think it, it will probably be quite a different experience to what people have maybe had. It's in um, the Douglas... South Douglas Old Friends, Friends Club. Club which it's an interesting I, location. Yeah. yeah, and I think that was it. I think it's a, as, a, as a location, I think it's a really interesting space. We're used to go into those spaces for a party. It is a good place, that. And I think, yeah. I think we, want, we almost want the show at points to feel like a party. We don't want it to be sad. We want it to be entertaining. Yeah. And you can interact quite nicely there. Well, exactly. Yeah. You know, if, if yeah. this was on the gaiety, it wouldn't work because yeah. Lorcan would be so far away from the stage yeah. and it would yeah. be less intimate. And also, I think we wanted to explore, given the audience... A new experience. I don't. Yeah. I don't know if I've there's been that many like, that. like kind of shows in there. And this, you know, it Not is a play, but it's a it's a gig as well, I suppose. Well, fascinating talking to you about this. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should do some more interviews. And your yeah. blog, by sounds of it, which I always find interesting, is that available to the public or is yeah, that a closed yeah. thing? Yeah, um, it's it's um, depression is shit, which I don't know, right. is, is the name of the the title, which which kind of you might have to believe I that. Might have to believe that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guess what the word is. Yeah. There's four letters and yeah. it doesn't begin with an F. Okay. <laughs> And is it .com or something? Uh, I think it's WordPress. Oh, WordPress. I can I can send you the link. You, yeah, yeah. And now uh, anything that's a star, you just have to use your yeah, imagination. You to, you I think focus. you just have certain standards we have to keep. Yeah, no, that's right. Standard. Of course. Um, wow, you're true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that that, that 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 kind of is is for me. It's like a it's just, it's a, an openness, and it's like it it is like so. I don't want to sugarcoat it. No. I want to address it straight up, and then kind of through that that open and open honesty yeah. is how people get to talk about it because it, it it has the last year in terms of talking about mental health on the island has has grown exponentially unfortunately i think that part of that is to do with a lot of kind of high profile suicides that have that have occurred over the last few years possibly we're talking about the fact that it is suicide more than it just a you know a brushed under the carpet thing um so it's almost a it's 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 unfortunate that it's such a big topic at the moment mm-hmm. because of what's brought the topic about. So ho- hopefully, by doing things like this, there's a lot of charities starting up around mental health. That 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 conversation grows naturally, and it, is, it doesn't have to be spurred on by by trauma and and. Let, let's talk another time. Yeah, we'll sit, sit down. But back to this. Yeah, yeah. out time. Uh, two nights: Wednesday, twenty fourth; Thursday, twenty fifth of July. South. Mm-hmm. Uh, Douglas Old Friends Association, seven thirty tickets, twelve pounds, and the website doesn't have any rude words in it for tickets. No, no, which is it, so, you know? so it's tickets ignite, but you yeah. search the funny thing about depression. Oh, and yeah. I'm sure we can put a link somewhere. Maybe yeah, we can. Is that okay. possible? We'll yeah, to... no expletives. <laughs> yeah, there might start. be some on the night though. So no, uh, there's definitely some on the night. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And also, yeah. well, yeah. with a well, open, yeah, open-minded. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, there are ju- just <laughs> as a kind of a, a disclaimer, there are, there are quite open and frank discussions around mental health and suicide particularly so if there's anyone who is unsure or might have difficulty with the topic or discussing it it might be a bit difficult for them at points um however if they want to use their discretion just get in touch with us and we can talk them through tell them what what it's what's involved um and then they can make their own choices but a bit of discretion advice I, I would say not, not, not that it's openly dark or exploitative or anything like that, but um, there might be some topics for, for some people which are difficult to access at this time. <laughs>